Here we have the NHBS 125 watt Robinson Moth Trap. Now, for those of you with a keen eye, you've probably noticed a couple of changes already. Instead of a, a clear, loose collar on top, we've got a solid black one. And it's also a little bit smaller. We've reduced the main catchment area by 10 centimeters across its diameter, making it a lot easier to carry in the field as it's smaller and a lot lighter. Importantly though, we've got exactly the same central cone. Now, this is what makes Robinson Moth Traps by far the most popular. It has the highest attraction and retention rate, which also means you can leave it overnight and then come back in the morning and see what's been flying around, rather than standing out there and watching them come and go. As for setting it up, it's very simple. I've already raided the kitchen for some egg cartons and placed them in there, and the cone just fits on top. From there we've got over 5 metres of cable to plug into our main supply or into our generator and then all we need to do is loosen the wing nuts and raise these supports. Once they're done we just quickly take off the screws on top and then we can place on the rain guard. Now the rain guard plays quite an important role. Because we're using a mercury vapour bulb, these get really hot when they're in use and the cold rain splashing on them is liable to make them crack. So it's very important we put this on. Simply line up the holes and then place the screws through and tighten up the wing nuts. And with that in place, all that remains is to screw the light bulb into the centre and then we'll be ready to go. Hope that's helped and if you want to find out any more just visit the website or give one of our team a call.